Hi guys, this is Raisha and I welcome you all back to another interesting video. And this video is going to be about a really cool opportunity for those of you who are pursuing your undergraduate studies in India. So this is about a scholarship opportunity which is provided by a very prestigious organization, Ernst & Young. So this video is about the EY Scholarship Program. This is such a great opportunity for students who are pursuing graduation courses across colleges in India. What they have to do is, this is basically a business case competition. So the students have to submit a business case and then those who get selected in the final round of this program are awarded with one lakh rupees and an opportunity to intern at EY for two months in a service line of their choice. Since this is such a great opportunity and not a lot of people know, know about this, so I'm gonna walk you through the main website for the EY scholarship program and help you out on how to apply for the same. Let me share you the main website. Okay, so as I had mentioned, the EY scholarship program is a business case competition. And the main aim of this competition is to recognize and reward students with exemplary entrepreneurial spirit. And those of uh, you who win in this program are awarded INR 1 lakh and get digital credentials on industry recognized skills and two month internship opportunity at EY in a service line of your choice. So this is such an amazing opportunity. You get so many things if you win this competition. So moving on, uh, this program is open to all the students who are pursuing graduation courses in India. And it involves the submission of a business case. And the theme for the same is building a better working world. The submission for the business case can be a for-profit or a not-for-profit organization, which you would be aiming to create to um, solve a particular problem. On how to understand the structure for preparing for this program, you can click on the instructions link and you will be directed to this page. It is very important to read through these instructions because it is very imperative for you to get selected and impress the final panel. So the instructions for preparing the business case are as follows. It should be on building a better working world and it can be either a for-profit or a not-for-profit business case. I personally had prepared a not-for-profit business case. So these are the steps. Uh, some of them are common. Some of them are, them are different for either the for-profit for, for or not-for-profit. So the first thing, what is the idea? You have to give a brief introduction of what exactly is your idea. And how will this idea build a better working world? That is, what are the objectives and what will be its impact? For for profit business case, this point is different. What are the key industry drivers? And for not for profit, who are the other key not for profits operating in this space? Then we have who are the key competitors for the profit business case and Obviously, how is your idea innovative different from these other not-for-profit organizations if you go for the not-for-profit business case? And the rest basically were, um, are focused on the financials. That is how you're going to fund your organization, how it's going to survive by itself it, if it doesn't get any funding. So it's very important that you go over these steps because these form a very crucial part of your submission for the business case. The things that the EY panel is looking for in your idea is innovation. Either you create an extremely new idea from scratch or propose an already pro uh, present idea in a novel way. That is as good as a new idea. So you have to think about what you're passionate about and what you want to convey to the panel and have a clarity of thought 
that is you are able to convey your business case to the panel even without presenting it to them that is if you just give your submission to the panel by looking at it they are able to understand what you are trying to convey and you, of obviously the passion to win the amount of research that you would put in your submission it would really reflect how passionate you are about it how clearly you have thought things through and what all you want to do by presenting your case to them and your idea should have an impact on the working world and it's imperative that the your idea even though it is very small has a huge scale and relevance for this world so the important instructions for submitting the business case is that you have to submit a powerpoint presentation of not more than seven, seven slides so here's the catch giving a business case idea in so less slides is difficult but doable so you have to collect all your thoughts and try to present each and everything on your presentation on those seven slides and these are some of the technical uh, things like the file size should not exceed 5 mb and if you have any queries this is the email id but this is for when you the registration and the submission process actually starts and as i'd mentioned before the eva scholar that is those who win this competition are awarded with 1 lakh rupees digital credentials and an internship with eva for 2 months so that's the important instructions for this competition so we would be moving back to the main website so i have already covered it because it was mentioned in the instructions pdf and yes 10 winners are selected for this competition so it is quite a number so you have a great chance of winning this competition if you are willing to put in the hard work for the same in my time when i had applied 12 winners were selected i don't know what they would be doing this time but i think 10 to 12 is one number that they are looking to for selecting the winners and some of the um frequently asked questions we i can also walk you through those as well so we are directing to this website for faqs okay so these are some of the questions that would be answered in this pdf okay so to participate in the ey scholarship program you need to register here so this is a clickable link so i'll just show you what this link looks like so currently this link is not open because uh, during my time the registration portal opened in the end of october so i guess they would be doing the same this year so the registration portal starts in october so keep a tab of that okay moving back to the faqs uh, i've talked you through the theme of the business case and yeah so and yes this is a great opportunity it is it really is a one of its kind opportunity because the things that it offers to its winners and apart from that by participating participating in this program the students really are challenged and energized i am from an engineering background but that didn't stop me from applying for this program i didn't have any business understanding of any business lingo or neither of my family members were from business but i connected with people on linkedin th those who had already won this competition and took their help and generated my idea and i really loved participating in this comp competition because it gave me a new perspective to things and added more dimension to my personality so you should definitely apply for this internship scholarship opportunity and who is eligible to participate in this program that is those who are pursuing graduation courses across india and yes so i'm going to walk you through the final registration steps in the end of the video and this for those who wish to participate in this competition it is an individual participation so you can definitely go ahead and apply for it 
and anything else which is very important in this pdf you should definitely go over the whole one because i've already been through it and this is a really competitive program if not thousands hundreds of students at least apply for this program so i feel that you should try and just kill it while you are making your business case competition so that's about it and yes this program would be judged by ey panelists who are really in the top of their game so it's really crazy it gets crazy once you get to the final round so you should be prepared for everything and to get notifications about this program you have to you should um follow the facebook page and the instagram page of the ey scholarship india and yes so that's about it for the faqs as well and moving back to the main website again everything is covered i guess and these are the 2020 winners the website has not updated the 2021 winners yet but you can find them out on instagram and you can connect with them as well because they help out a lot okay so yeah that's about it on for the main website now now i'm going to tell you what all was the whole procedure while i had applied for the scholarship so the registration starts by the end of october uh, that is you register yourself for this competition then you start preparing your business case but obviously it's not about you just start preparing your business case after october you can start preparing it now because great ideas take time right so after october you you start working on your business case and the last date for the submission of the business case is 31st of december but i remember uh, during my time the deadline for the submission of the business case was delayed till 10th of february so i don't know if it would happen this time but delays do happen then after all uh, the ey panelists receive all the submissions from the students they review all the ppts that they get and they select the top 50 uh, for the final round of the ey scholarship so getting selected in the top 50 is a great thing in itself because the ey panel found your ppt great enough and they want to know more about it so uh, from a pool of hundreds and thousands of ppts that have been submitted by students across india they found your ppt great and they selected it so getting in the top 50 is also an amazing thing and the students who get selected in top 50 also get a participation certificate of getting to the final round because they are the finalists too then uh, uh then the top 50 are selected in um, april yeah uh, yeah in april i was notified yes so in april the top 50 are announced after that the hr of the ernst and young contact you and tell you what is the final date of your presentation in front of the ey panel so the final date for the presentation is around may and you get about 10 minutes to present your business case in front of the ey panel and 10 minutes for q and a so it is quite a big grill you a lot the panel is highly educated and they they just want to know everything that you have presented in your ppt and after that in june the top 10 or now i don't know maybe 12 are announced and they get their certificates and their cash prizes and maybe they'll also know when they can start their internship and such so that's about the whole process for the ey scholarship and yeah that's it for today's video maybe the next time i would be preparing a video on how to make a presentation for the ey scholarship so that it gets selected and the rest all is your hard work so share this video with students who can benefit from it and maybe they can apply for this opportunity and i'll see you all very soon bye